for this problem, A, B, C, the order of the questions doesn't help you solve it, doesn't lead you through the problem like it did on the problem earlier in the review. Um, so there are a lot of different correct ways you could solve this problem. I'm just going to show you one of them. Looking at the information I have, I know the atoms of oxygen, which is just a part of H3PO4. It's not the whole thing. Um, I can start on any of these. I'm going to start by getting to something about the whole thing, because I think for a lot of people that's easier to work with. So I'm not going to start with A, B, or C. I'm just going to start over in my own little corner. And I'm going to take my atoms of oxygen, turn it into molecules of the whole thing. Um, I know 4.24 times 10 to the 24 is my atoms of O. What I don't know are my molecules of H3PO4. Atoms and molecules, we can say, are proportional to how many atoms in one molecule. Always a one before the molecule. So in one H3PO4, how many O's are there? Four. Solving this will get me molecules, which is of the whole thing. Um, and from there, there are a lot of different places I can go. Cross multiplying, we get that 4x equals 4.24 times 10 to the 24. Dividing by 4, my x is 1.06 times 10 to the 24th, and that's molecules of H3PO4. I'm sure I'm still on the screen. Yeah. I have my molecules of the whole thing. Um, I'm going to come over to part B, because part B is about the whole thing. From molecules, I can't find grams right away, but from molecules, I can get to moles. From moles, I can get to grams. So my number of molecules, number sign, equals my moles times Avogadro's number, dividing by the 6.02. So 6.02 goes on the bottom. What I have now found are my moles of H3PO4. I'm labeling not just that it's moles, but that it's H3PO4, because I'm going to want to be able to find this number later to use it in one of the other parts. So my moles of the whole thing, which I know it's the whole thing because these were molecules of the whole thing, is 1.76. I want grams, so grams equals those moles times the molecular weight of H3PO4. Three H's, a P, that's 31, and four O's, they're each 16. My molecular weight is 98. Therefore, my grams are 172.48. From grams of the whole thing, I actually don't need to use that number ever again. Um, but from moles of phosphorus and atoms of hydrogen, I'm going to need some numbers I just found. Moles of phosphorus, I can find. That's a part. And I know my moles of the whole. So I can set up a proportion between moles of phosphorus and moles of the whole thing. I want the moles of phosphorus. I know from all this work I did earlier that I have 1.74 moles of the whole thing. This side of the proportion for moles is the same as this that we used earlier, um, where I asked myself, okay, well in one molecule of H3PO4, how many P's are there? Just one. So that's why when I cross multiply this, I end up getting 1.74 as my answer. Um, done with A. For atoms of hydrogen, I'm going to use the molecules I have for the whole thing basically setting this up again, but instead of using oxygen, I'm going to adjust it and use hydrogen. I want to know my atoms of hydrogen. I know my 1.06 times 10 to the 24 molecules of H3PO4. And I ask myself, in one molecule of H3PO4, how many H's are there? The answer is three. So I end up taking that number of 1.06 times 10 to the 24. When I cross multiply, it gets multiplied by 3, and we get 3.18 times 10 to the 24 atoms of hydrogen. That's my answer there. Again, you could have solved this problem a number of different ways. Um, if you're doing it a different way, just make sure you're getting the right answers. If you're getting the right answers, what you're doing is working.
If not, maybe try this way or email me a question and I can help you figure out where you're going wrong. Good luck.